Hey guys, welcome back to Gear by Orla. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm Orla and welcome on this channel. I give honest, authentic reviews of all kinds of travel gear and related products. Today I am reviewing the Tree Runners from the brand Allbirds. <laughs> Testing a shoe, I am looking for a few things. Can I dress them up and down? Are they waterproof? Can I wear them at the gym? Are they comfortable? And mainly, are they long lasting? Truthfully, testing a shoe for two months isn't going to give you the long lasting results of how it performs. So, what I've done in the last about three months is tested it to its limits in the kind of performance uh, of how it would hold up in different environments and this is basically what this review will be about, is what it kind of works well for and what it doesn't. Initially when I saw the Tree Runner, I kind of thought, oh, is it a running shoe? Um, you certainly can run in it, but it is advertised as an everyday kind of shoe for warmer weather or a, ideally for a travel shoe, but we'll get into that in a wee minute. Before we get into that, let's run through a few details. The price of these shoes are $105. So normally I am between a UK 5 and 5.5. I got these shoes in a US 8 which converts roughly to 5 and 5.5 and they fit very well. The shoelaces are made from recycled plastic bottles. They are a sustainable shoe, eucalyptics, tree fibre, sweet foam midsole, made with sugar cane based green EVA, bio based TPU eyelets, castor bean oil based insole foam. They do come with a care kind of guide on how to wash these shoes to make them feel brand new. Something that has been highlighted my whole life is my posture, my back, she says literally leaning over but I'm trying to get comfy. My back and my flat feet, uh, even going to school and stuff, I noticed that other girls were able to wear like flat palm pencils, things like that but I always needed something that had that extra support but apparently then, back then, nobody thought to make an acute shoe that had uh, support and insoles in them. I've always been aware of the importance of having a good shoe support, especially if you are doing intense exercising or just everyday life, something that can support your feet to help prevent injury. In around 2016, I started getting into exercise, whether it be from lifting, HIIT workouts, all the fun stuff, and I've been through my fair pair of shoes. In terms of lifting, if you are looking for a shoe, you want to kind of look for something that is either flat or has a bit of a lift dependent on your flexibility. For example, I have my lifters here, which is perfect for lifting weights, things like that, your squats, deadlifts. Um, it just gives you that extra bit of support for that. And it also keeps you stable. If you find that you are turning in, um, then it kind of just gives you that support to keep upright or you could wear something as flat as that. I find I need a lifter, especially when squatting and deadlifting, uh, things like that, because I find that this isn't enough of a support for um, my range of flexibility. For intense bouncing around or running and things like that, the midsole and how it is made up is gonna be key. Everything positioned from the ground up and your foot is so important. So the midsoles are usually made up from foam material. Traditionally, it was a heavy material, making it increasingly harder for people to run with. So then they switched it up to a lighter material, trying to make it easier for people to run with. The outsole of the shoe is making the contact with the ground. This kind of decides the longevity of the shoe and how long before wear and tear sets in. So let's have a look at the midsole. This is a great midsole made from sustainable materials. It is a sweet foam, sugar cane and midsole in comparison to other brands such as Nike and Hawker. They use EVA, which isn't as sustainable as Allbirds, but they are notoriously known for their great shoes. I just wanted to make a quick comparison. This is a shoe that I have from Nike and I've had this since about 2016. And when I first started training, this was the shoe that I used for everything, whether it be running, lift, weight, and hit workouts, everything really. And you can see over time, I don't know if it'll pick it up, but the shoe is slanting over. So there isn't that support, like I said, that you would get from like a lifting shoe that's kind of stops you from turning your feet in. It kind of supports you straight up. 
So that's just something to think about when you are picking a shoe and over time making sure that there is enough support that is kind of holding you in like this. With this shoe I wouldn't be going on runs with it often. I mean you absolutely could. It does give enough support. Uh, Allbirds do offer a running shoe, the Tree Dashers and a couple more others. Head over to the website. The links will be in the description. I'll leave it all there for you. Um, but the dashers on just first impressions, everything is made from the same material. So it's still this sweet foam sugarcane midsole. However, the midsole on the dashers you can see is a little bit thicker. And also the bottom isn't going to be lined like this. They have like little stumps that is going to give you um, more support, more bounce. And over time isn't going to wear and tear like this shoe will. But if you do look at dashers, the performance overall is going to be... The kind of shoe that you want for running or everyday kind of exercise because of the way that it is made up you can see in the difference especially at the bottom of the dasher shoe that they have created a running shoe essentially in comparison to this shoe which i would say is more of an everyday shoe now saying that though i did and have been doing hit workouts kind of intense workouts with these shoes and they've been absolutely fine i think it is down to preference again I can slowly see why you know I wouldn't be using these shoes for like squats and things like that because just like the Nike shoes over time it is gonna for me anyways it's really down to preference is going to head over to the side if I have I find a little bit more of a thicker platform it prevents me from doing that I think it's going to be down to your foot and what you need but that's just something to think about these shoes do have enough support don't get me wrong i mean there is enough platform there is a bit of a lift it's just for me with these shoes i can tell if i was to do intense workouts um over and over a period of time i mean you can absolutely you can but you will be um needing to buy another pair because wear and tear will happen at the bottom i don't know if you can see that but yeah eventually this will just all smooth out so that's just something to be aware of in comparison to like the, the this kind of bottom and um, you're going to get longer out of this shoe than you would this if you were doing high intensity these shoes are so comfy they are like walking on clouds i have to say they are the most comfortable shoes i've ever put on my feet with these shoes there is no like breaking in period you know with shoes when you first put them on your heels start hurting pain starts setting in there is nothing like that there this is all like a cushioned wool kind of thing here that just helps support everything as soon as you put these shoes on then you're all good to go they also have an elastic here on the tongue which i thought was a nice we touched you just to adjust and um, the, the, the tongue is also the same material throughout it's not like hard or anything should you go barefoot and um, then it won't rub up on you either i went on a three hour walk with these shoes but nothing inclined or on stones i would not recommend these shoes for hiking or anything like that it's just not a practical shoe they do over on all birds have hiking shoes and better performance shoes for that kind of activity so head over there for that the shoes are water resistant i wouldn't say they are waterproof you can get them wet um, and not feel it on your actual feet, but it just absorbs into the shoe. It doesn't really run off. You can 100% dress these shoes up and down. Should you want to take them traveling, they are packed very easily. They squish together, so it leaves room for that. Say you're going backpacking or just general traveling. You can take these shoes and wear them every day. Um, have them during the day when you're sightseeing and then going out in the evening they also have the loungers that i have tested out a review will either be up or coming soon on those um they're also lovely to dress up and down they're not really a uh, active shoe but they're a lounger kind of shoe but they are so pretty and so comfortable these shoes are perfect for anyone on their feet for long periods of time especially if you're working long hours or running after kids or just everyday life the airflow is grand like i'm not gonna sit and complain about it because it was fine and i think i've just got freaking sweaty feet anyways but i would have preferred a bit more airflow um i just found that doing intense workouts my feet were getting really sweaty but you can opt to wear these without socks i wouldn't but there is, if you do like there is a removable insole so you can wash that so that's fine um the shoe doesn't hold really any smell they are fine 
there are a few kind of downfalls in terms of the shoe it does um hold dirt easily like there is a few marks already all over the shoe so it does require quite a bit of effort to clean them in comparison to like say leather or other shoes that you can just wipe down easily this is going to require a bit of effort another thing to think about when you put on the shoes like your foot becomes imprinted and you can see the top of your toes uh, within the shoe I mean that might not bother you it's just um, a little bit annoying to me because nobody wants to see my goblet feet hanging at the top of the shoe the same with the loungers it's just imprinted so like my feet are like <laughs> clawing at the top um, which isn't very flattering so just to round up the shoe is an everyday shoe I would definitely take it on travel things like that slip them on run out do errands every day comfort works very well I wouldn't um, recommend them for intense workouts and things like that yes you can but I feel like you can get a better shoe even over on their website or from another brand as well they make for a great travel shoe the shoes are super lightweight if you would prefer to read the written review then the links are in the description along with all the links to the products I have mentioned today I hope you have a beautiful week and see you in the next review